I'm challenging myself to do two different trick shots. My first trick shot that I'm going to be doing is to flip a penny up in the air and for it to not land on heads or tails, just on its side. Flipping a nickel on its side is one in 6,000. Who knows what a penny is, because it's smaller and skinnier. The second trick shot I've decided to do is not exactly a trick shot. It's actually a contraption to feed my dog from my room. You see, so when I was maybe like 11, 10 or 11 years old, I made this marble run. And now it inspired me to make a new one, and it feeds my dog. And so the journey begins. No! At first I wasn't getting close at all, but then I developed a strategy my strategy was that if I flipped the coin really hard and made it spin a lot in the air, it would make it hit the counter and for it to spin around. But unfortunately, it's actually very hard to keep it standing on its edge. I think I better work on the dog feeding contraption first, so I'll come back to this later after I'm done with that. I'm going on vacation in four days, so I'm in a time crunch. So my room is a complete disaster. I have all sorts of supplies here for me to use, and I've built this, this little part here, and you'll understand how it works in a few minutes. I'm gonna put this piece of wood down, right here so that I have a flat space to work to put a big book domino effect. All right, here's test number two. I'm gonna interrupt the video because I wanna keep the whole contraption secret for this most of this video until I show the real full video of the contraption working all the way through. I put tape on these dominoes so that all you have to do is do this instead of actually balancing them. By the way, sometimes I'll walk away and it just started going. It just got triggered, like maybe the slightest little vibration and see that moves. Out of nowhere, you can start having issues like this. It doesn't go in the cup. It's supposed to bounce straight in. It's worked the entire day and just now it just stops working. And these random things just start happening because there's so many different variables. One part of the contraption that I will show you is the zip line. The reason behind that is because while the zip line's going, I don't have enough time to run downstairs and film the shot. Instead, I'd throw the camera to my dad and he would continue filming downstairs. Here, Dad, catch. Quick tour of the whole contraption. Up is a zip line. And finally, after thirty one failed attempts, we did it. Hey, Ben, feed the dog.
your dad cash? and drink some water with some nice kibble in it. Even though some of it splattered everywhere, the final result was plenty satisfying for me because this took all day. Of course we didn't starve Max all day. He has food right here. We failed on this contraption 31 times. Shout out to my dad who was there the entire time. So I finally completed one out of the two challenges. Now it is time to come back to the impossible penny flip. My strategy was working. I was getting closer and closer, and it was bound to happen soon. 